Learning Premiere Pro is kind of like figuring out how to speak a language. The more vocabulary you possess, the better you can speak. Then the more knowledge you have about Premiere Pro, the better your videos will be. Something crucial about understanding Premiere Pro is learning how to use motion graphic templates. Today you'll learn everything about them. Trick number one. What even is a motion graphic template? In the Essential Graphics panel, you can install and use tons of presets. Those can be text animations, logos, whatever. You just drag them into the timeline like this and then make sure the clip is selected. In Essential Graphics, you can then adjust specific parameters to customize the template. But now, how to create one yourself using After Effects? That's actually super super simple. In Adobe After Effects, click on New Composition. Give it a name, for example, Text Animation. Then choose your desired resolution and frame rate. In here, you can choose how long the motion graphic template will be. About 10 seconds is fine. Now click on OK and here we are in After Effects. If this looks a little overwhelming, definitely check out After Effects Basics down below. Now let's create a quick text animation. In the toolbar on top, choose the text tool and click somewhere in your composition. The text in here will be customizable in Premiere, so it doesn't matter that much what you type. Okay, you can now see your text layer in the timeline. To customize your text, head over to the window menu on top and find the properties panel. Once that's open, you can customize your text by choosing a font. Change the color and whatever you want. Let's create a simple animation. To do that, expand the properties of the text layer in the timeline. In here you will find the transform properties, similar to the ones from the effect controls in Premiere. Let's create a position animation. To do that, simply click the stopwatch icon to set a keyframe, then move back in time and move the position down. Let's ease the last keyframe in by selecting it and hitting F9 on your keyboard. Alright, now we're gonna turn this animation into a motion graphics template and send it straight to Premiere. To do that, go to the window menu on top and find essential graphics panel. This is not the same as Premiere's Essential Graphics, by the way. We're using this to create a template. First, let's select the composition we're working on. You can then give it a name, for example, Text Animation. Now, we're gonna fill this window up with controls we want to customize in Premiere. The first thing is the text itself, of course. To do that, expand the text properties in the timeline and drag the source text property into the Essential Graphics. You can then rename it to Name or something. Then click Edit Properties and in this window, check all of these settings if you want them to be customizable in Premiere. There we go. Next, we also want to be able to adjust the scale, position and whatnot. However, you can simply drag the position property in this panel because if we do, the animation we created won't be transferred to Premiere. Now, to fix that, right click in the timeline and choose New. Then find Null Object. Then with the Parent and Link tool, drag the text layer to the Null Object. Now, everything we adjust in the Transform properties from the Null Object will also be applied to the text layer. That means we can drag whatever property we want into the essential graphics. And of course, rename them to your liking. You can do so much more with this, but that's something for After Effects Basics. And now, we're gonna put this template right into Premiere. But first, I want you guys to know that it's crucial to use high quality sound effects and music in your videos. I know how hard it is to actually find premium sound effects. And if you do find them, you're not even sure if you're allowed to use them commercially. For just a one-time payment, you can have lifetime access to a massive high-quality sound effects library from audio. You heard that right. No subscription. This library is expanding constantly. They already have 300,000 sound effects for you to choose from. This deal will be gone soon and they only sell 5,000 copies of the lifetime sound effects and everyone after that will have to take a subscription. I'll leave a link down below for you guys for the sound effects. Now, in addition, they also have the best music library. Seriously, you can't find this anywhere else. It's specifically created for content creators just like us. I absolutely love the AI-powered play that audio will create based on your favorite songs. Definitely use the code Premier Basics for 70% off the Audio Pro Plan. Audio, thank you so much for sponsoring this video. Again, link down below. And now, let's get back to Premiere or After Effects. We're gonna send our motion graphic template straight to Premiere. To do that, click on Export Motion Graphics Template. You can choose between local template folders, which puts it straight into Premiere, or you can choose a location to your own templates folder. Click on OK and let's go back to Premiere. And here, simply drag the template file we created into the Essential Graphics panel. Now you'll always see it in here and you can drag it into the timeline. Then of course you can customize the text animation exactly the way you want. In the timeline, 
timeline. If you play back the video, you will now see the same animation but with your customized text. Mogerts use dynamic link between Premiere and After Effects. You can compare this with transferring a 5 gigabyte file using Bluetooth. It's super slow. To optimize your playback, there are a few things you can do. First, right click the template in your timeline and choose render and replace. This will turn the template into a normal video file, which is easy for Premiere to play back. Of course, you can't customize the template anymore if you do it this way. Luckily, you can always revert back to a Mogurt by right clicking the clip and choosing restore unrendered. I like using this method, but if I'm using the dynamic link more than once in my project, I just create a selection around my template template by hitting the in and out keys on my keyboard. Then go to the sequence menu on top and find the render into out option. This will create a temporary preview file so that you can play it back perfectly. However, if you adjust the template, you will have to do this again. Next, a quick bonus tip. If you have multiple templates installed, your preset list will be huge, which makes it hard to find your favorite templates. To fix that, just click the star icon to tag your template as a favorite. If you then click on the star icon on top, Premiere will only show you the favorite Mogurts in your project. Super useful. The next Premiere trick is gonna help you edit so much faster, so to continue the lesson, click the video right here on my left. Thank you guys so much for watching.